Zappa King and the Giant Robots. Welcome back to G Savior. Any percent new game plus speed runs. Three, two, one. Jam. So right from the start, always be mashing. Start. You want to skip your cutscenes up to a point. Uh, any percent clear the game. New game plus. You have already cleared the game on hard mode and unlocked the best mobile suit of the game. Briefing screen is your first warning. You can skip that. Be safe. New navigator Oscar appears. Push start once. Left. Mash X. Ready for G3 Savior. The advantage of this mobile suit is it is the fastest mobile suit in the game. That does not have to micromanage a hover gauge. You simply turn it on with your assigned button. I like to assign it to L2. And you roll. You have rolling physics. But this also means it has physics. Inclines are a little harder. And you will also slide downward if not pushing a direction. You'll, you'll feel it drift, but it's not so much that you can't counteract it with an opposing force. First rule of G-Savior, always have shield. Second rule of G-Savior is always be hovering. Your default square button is your mega cannon. It has a piercing property. If it hits anything in a line, they all get damaged. It'll also clip through terrain, to a degree. The objective here is to not get hit. Now, in your earlier stages, all that can be accomplished with just movement. But for safety, you may want to take down a few mobile suits. Turrets aren't so much a word. Mobile suits will turn around and shoot you in the back. Even at random, that is just their, their pattern may get you. But every shot you take pushes you back a little bit on impact. Your second weapon is a multi-lock missile. Default it's a triangle. Like it'll clear, you know, three to five targets ahead of you. Also works to clear out those gates when they come up. There's about six gates in total. We have two in this stage and then one for the final boss or before the boss. That's that right there. It will always lock onto the game. The reason I had your shield out, I just took a hit there. I took no damage and no impact. You take a frontal damage and you're in front like 45 degrees, you're safe. Your beam shield will eat that up and you just keep moving on, no impact taken. But when you do, Nice. Sometimes the missile will not lock onto that gate because there's other options in the way. If you take a hit to your beam shield, it will deplete the yellow gauge under your health gauge. And to refill that, you simply release your shield button and hold it again. If you like throttle it, you can probably refill it a little bit, but that also has frames of animation where you can get hit. There's a small cutscene here. Now, the boss can easily get caught in a pattern that you can mash it out. Once you have it in your pattern, that's when you're probably safe to switch over to get on your hover, use your mega launcher, and clear it out. I was mashing start too soon. Time is on result screen. Well done. Always do not save, you lose time on that. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, there's your briefing screen. That's your one warning. Let's disrespect Asuka, left, G3, go. No matter what the game defaults your first selection to, the G3 Savior will always fall on one space to the left, pushing left to get to your G3. 
Later on, you will get the regular G3 Savior and a G3 uh, Heavy Assault Mode. Something to that effect. But pushing left one time will always get you to ground, ground attack. And that's what you want. Because the roller does not have a gauge. You can just go. Whereas if you play this uh, casual new game, your G Savior and your G3 Savior have hover ma gauges that you have to man uh, manage. Uh, this open area here. Lots of chances to get hit from the back. That's where I use most of my missiles, especially right here on this ramp. When you get close to an enemy, like very close, they'll sometimes switch into a melee mode and you might even hear them behind you try to hit you. Which is fine because then they switch to melee mode, they're not trying to shoot you anymore. But that doesn't mean that they won't. see it's a bit of a struggle to go up this hill on your rollers. You do have to fight a bit of gravity. We will see the stage again on the final stage. But with so many more enemies, it feels like the stage is at least twice as long. Because too many items on screen causes a lag. Now what we definitely want here Is you want this you want to get shot down. There we go. That was that was quick. Let's go. It is a winnable fight, but there's nothing to it to win. Even in casual play, you can still get an A or an S rank by losing to Rysis, your rival. You quickly see uh, the G3 Savior on screen there. It is simply showing you that that is your new machine upgrade. You have not messed up by choosing the wrong mobile suit. Briefing. Disrespect your briefing. Disrespect Asuka. Left once. Immediately ground attack. Alright, so this is your first appearance of Proximity Mines. They're terrible. They have a wide range when they explode, and they can hit you twice. That will be a completely most of your, your gauge. That is most of your life gone. You know, there's your first one. Nice and clear, easy to shoot down. That's your one. Next ones I see, I like to use my missiles to make sure you don't have anything else. There you go, pop, 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 they're gone. Some of these stages do have a slight like split path. It's just terrain. Another group over here. Now some of these you get far enough away from. I can skate the corner on that one. There's two there, right in the way. Third one. Last one. And you can take the edge on that. Stay the edge over here. 
That's another one of those small splits. Nothing to it. Just mind your foes. Now, if you bump into an enemy, it's fine. They won't hit you. That might even prompt them to go into melee. But that also runs the risk of them getting something else getting you in the back. As you saw there, I just barely got by one. Nice clean stage though, let's go. So another simple boss that you can catch in a stun lock. That doesn't mean don't play safe because he will shoot you from the start. And once you get him on the first shot, slide a bit forward. Make up for your, your kickback, your knockback, your recoil. And that's that guy's done. Smash my buttons, getting ready for my split. I try to time my split with the picture stopping its zoom in the corner, but some people go for when the letter appears. It's it's a, it's a matter of seconds. Here we go with the briefing. You are now presented the intensive attack this mode. Time. Press start. Disrespect Asuka. You always want your ground attack. This is the last time you have to consciously choose your mobile suit from here on. You will have unlocked the the ground the ground attack mode in all stages, and it will default you to it. Of course, at that point, if you're just playing casually, you can choose whatever you want. You still have the G Savior, you have regular G3, you have the intensive attack, you have your ground attack, which makes you go, go, go. All right, this is your first highway stage. Mind your middle, there is terrain. Or geometry, rather. Mines right there at the start, we don't want those. Turrets aren't so much of an issue to shoot down, they won't turn around and hit you in the back. A mobile suit will, because sometimes a mobile suit's AI programming is to walk in a small circle and just keep shooting. Especially on more open stages. Christ. All for safety, I got stuck on some dang terrain. Those whistles got all the way down there. Enemy turrets, or and missile turrets rather, can hurt a lot. Two for one special. Now this is the first stage that you might experience the shield audio glitch. So I'm going to let it down. As you can see, I managed to actually tank the shield in my face. Or tank a melee to the shield. Uh, usually when you're holding the shield going through there, it'll continue to hold that sound for a bit. But it will stop about halfway through the loading screen. It's just a weird audio error. Doesn't cause any problems. Really the only time I've had this game freeze up on me was trying to mash too quickly through machine selection. This is an arena battle with a raid. You'll see a couple more of these mobile suits later. 
But because the arena is so easy, not a hard fight at all. The usual catch it in a pattern. Lupudes. There we go. I'm improving my time. I'm at start and exit alter alternating so I can skip the option to save. Chapter 5, we no longer have to worry about selecting our mobile suit. It defaults to the G3 ter uh, ground terrain. Ground terrain. Ground attack. I'm thinking of the G Savior terrain mode, which is probably one of the hardest mobile suits to unlock if you want to play this game casually. You have to clear the game on hard with an A rank or higher on every stage. With only the regular G Savior. Good luck. Take your time. Because time is not an issue. The issue is accuracy. How, long, how many times you get hit. And how many enemies you shoot down. So. This is the first stage where you really get to feel the one disadvantage to the roller. Because everything is on, like, all, you know, uneven terrain. You do have to move against the hills. You'll take slow down going up hills. If you try to go at a hill at an angle, you will slide against it. And there's gates again. Not trying to shoot every enemy, but I do want to shoot the ones that have the highest chance of trying to hit me in the back. Like you, you just run around and fire at random. We're not having that. There's another gate, getting stuck on the, the geometry of the down mobile suit. And then this is the biggest slide here. Entire section is an incline. There's a few mines here along the edge. But you can avoid the mines by skating the edge, but then you have to fight against it to get back. Oh wow, that was that was a very nice special. Sometimes you get specials going up this hill. You go on one side and then around the other. This is almost a copy of stage one, but there's a lot of added terrain to it. So it's not as bad as stage two to eight and stage three to seven. Stage seven at least starts different from stage three. So here we have one of the more uh, actually difficult boss fights. 16x, welcome. Not so much in the difficulty, but these, those items there on the ground, those generate barriers. And this guy also is very good at dodging. So you might want to like give him a moment to stop moving. To pull out his gun. Sometimes you can get him in a pattern. But as you can see, he also likes to dodge. There it goes, finally. Alright, and we're back at it again. Results screen go. You have decline the save. Back to mission start. I am using a non-standard PlayStation 2 controller. 
It does have a larger start button. It has a better grip for me and the way I hold the controller. It's more comfortable. But it also has like a clicky start button. Unlike the soft squishiness of a regular triangular shaped start button. It offers me no advantages other than comfort. I've tried playing this on my Super Robot Wars controller, but because it's a dual analog game, or at least a primary analog game in the way that the buttons are laid out on the Robot Wars controller, it just doesn't. There's no way to one hand that game. You have to do too many things with both of your hands. For me, this is one of my most difficult stages. They often make the wrong turns. Also, very a lot of tight corridors. Now, your gun does allow you to just kind of shoot through walls a little bit. But again, like I said, I, sometimes I make the wrong turn. Now, I like to go left here so I can keep an eye on the mines. I had to kind of skirt around that one. And once the room opens up, it's a little easier. There's more enemies, but... It is a bit easier to get by. Bump them and you can hear them try to go for melee. There's another gate just over here. Oh no, there's not. It's just this. Alright. Hey, that's the cleanest I've ever gotten that one. I always mess that up. Personally. We're doing good today. There's a cutscene here in the elevator. And then we fight the twins. Twin raids. They share one health bar. And you also have to contend with the fire missiles with large radial explosions like the proximity mines and the laser generator in the middle. Pick a side and go. Like, get out of the way, go. That other one will hit you before they split up proper. And then at... Now, unfortunately, despite everything that you can usually shoot through, you can't shoot through those explosions. Now you'll get four passes of a laser. Yo! Nice fight! That went well. If we can find the save, as you start again. Now we see the highway from stage three again with a slightly different opening. The terrain is a bit different. There's a lot of damage on the road that will hold you up and act as active blocking geometry. A lot more enemies, which makes the stage feel artificially longer. But also my favorite song in the game. Now, if you get a bad start right here at the very beginning, it's fine. Uh, no amount of perfect execution seems to get you past this first enemy, so you have to wait it out and either bait it forward, shoot it down. Start off by peeling to the left. There's geometry. Now I will try this. Sometimes they'll jump forward and they'll miss you. Yeah. 
alternate oh alt ground the, the, the ground is messed up you can shoot over it but you can't drive through it now I like to take out extra enemies here as I go because these are the ones that will get you in the damn back they often like to get me where I feel like I'm safe. Like, okay, I'm gonna recharge my shield. I'm wrong. I can't go over that. Um, I'm just running over something on the ground there. It doesn't actually cause you any damage. Set there, set here. Beat out that melee. Get that mine. went down out of missiles Okay, good. Read it through. This boss isn't so bad. It is another arena fight. It likes to shoot you from the very start, so make sure you got your shield going. And then chase him down, and you'll catch him in a loop before long. Good loop. Okay. Good fight. Nice fight. Final stage. We revisit the layout of stage two. With a lot more enemies. Make sure you come back and get coffee. Now, you might think that coffee is a euphemism, but if we're allowed to watch to the very last second, there is a cutscene here, so this can't be skipped. Let's pan around. You get one more taunt from your, your boss rival, Rysis. Then after this cutscene, you can finally start. Where I'm probably going to use most of my missiles. Ooh, 
stop calling him. I'm glad I didn't get melee. Don't want to use too many of them. If I get rid of some enemies there, that prevents some slowdown. My shield was out. I must have taken a couple of hits and didn't see it. Probably got meleeed. Alright. I shielded that. Okay. And here's another one I want to use. Just gotta. Perfect movement to the boss. Let's go. Alright. Now that we have Rysis at our hands, we can actually fight him for once. Uh oh. Audio error. So squirrely. Oh, finally got him. Oof. He moves around so much, it's hard to actually get into the pattern. Phase one. Now phase two is very much the same, but he's a little more aggressive, he's a little faster. And we're also fighting on a ship. And phase three is going to be the first time we see the other button that I haven't pressed. Trying to charge me, so he's messing up now. Alright, that's the loop. He will run right at you. Alright. So the last option is your CMA, your circus mo motion action. Or SMA, excuse me. SMA, circus motion action. It is a air quotes screen clearing bomb that. Ideally, just blows a bunch of stuff up behind you, but you also lose control of your mobile suit for about three or four seconds. Now, the goal here is to get the boss as much behind you as you can. Because... That's the best way to damage him. Because if he hits you while he's charging, you're done. Like that. Now, unfortunately, I had <clears throat> bad bomb RNG. That doesn't mean I couldn't have picked my spot a little better. But fortunately, we start right here. Now he was right behind me, so I really messed him up. And I quartered him. We did it. Come on, give me the score! Time! Bruh, I just shaved five minutes off my time. You have now lost control of the game. You can skip 
no more. Wells Fargo wanted to give you money? Well, the GCB wanted to give me five minutes. I've improved my time by five minutes. Let's a go. from the Congressional Armed Force. A ceasefire order has been announced. Commander Bias, the ringleader of the rebellion, has been arrested. The official army will arrive shortly. What about the mobile weapons? The majority have surrendered. We've finally come to the end of this war. Tell all troops, jettison whatever goods you can and vacate the area immediately. Attention all units and spaceships. The mission is over. J. Saviors and spaceships must jettison all release goods and return at once. By the way, where is Reed? We've lost contact. What? He didn't make it? He promised me that he would return. He has always kept his word. This time should be no exception. You're right, Asaka. He shall return. Yeah, no, that's Asuka. It is written for us. Asaka. Yes, I have faith. He must be on his way. The mother ship shall remain where it is. We'll wait for Reed. The rest of the spaceship should take off. We'll catch up later. Commander Ben! We do the right thing. Yes, sir. Our successful operation. I want to thank you all for your commitment during our struggle. Now, let's welcome Reed. Do you have that thing that you promised me? You bet, Commander. The best you've ever had. But better hurry. All the rest of the crew have already left for the bar. That doesn't sound too good. Don't worry. I'll make fresh coffee. Great. Now I can make myself at home. Welcome back, Reed. Glad to see you.
Reed, I have something to tell you about race. It's okay. You don't have to bother. Reed? It's over now. If you say so. By the way, do you remember what I said earlier? What was it? I promised to make some special coffee for you. I'd like to keep my word. Sounds great. I appreciate your invitation. <laughs> Shall we go then? Special coffee.